Hey guys, welcome to the editing breakdown of the serial commercial I shot. Um, we're gonna have some fun with masking and stop motion animation and Photoshop in Premiere and After Effects. It's gonna be real fun. And the best thing, it's not gonna be that hard to create something cool. And let's watch the video again and see how I did it. So now we're on the computer and I'm gonna show you how I edit the footage together. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to edit the serial rolling around the frame. So if you remember from the production video, the first sequence with the serial rolling around the shot was a stop motion animation. So we're starting off the edit with some raw files, raw pictures, and we're gonna edit them how we want them and we jump into Lightroom. So what I'm doing first is I'm editing the pictures how I like it in uh, Lightroom. Um, and once I'm happy with the adjustments, I'm gonna just open them up in Photoshop. It's really important that you take a clean plate. That means you just take a photo of the background without anything in it. Um, and this is this picture here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the whole background and I'm gonna paste it on top of the layer of the serial. So I have two layers here, the clean background is on top and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decrease the opacity to around 50% and there you can see like the serial is gonna appear and pretty easy thing, I'm just gonna get the eraser tool and I'm just gonna erase the foreground from the picture. So you don't have to be super precise because the background kind of looks the same as the foreground because it's the same backdrop. But I want to be fairly precise and I'm just kind of masking around it. Kind of like that and then the middle here. Once I'm happy with it, I'm just gonna increase the opacity again to 100%. And there we go, the hand is gone and we just have the serial in the frame. Pretty easy, right? And once I'm done that, I just going to export all the images and open them up in Premiere as an image sequence and I have the serial rolling around the frame. So now we're back on the computer and I show you how I added together the box explosion with the serials. So what we need here is three different shots. Um, as you remember, we shot the clean plate. Then we shot the cereals flying up into the air. And then we got shot the box exploding here. So we got the three clips lined up. And first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay them over top with the background in the back. And for the first clip, you're gonna see this box and what you just I'm just masking out the box here so I'm going to the masking tool here to the opacity and then click on the pen tool and I'm just gonna go around the box here and I'm just masking and I'm gonna invert it and this gets rid of the little box here at the bottom so the next step is gonna be, so because the box kind of opens and we wanna create the impression that the serials are inside the box, we need to have the serials in here and also in the back behind this line. Because otherwise if they would be in the front, it wouldn't look real. So um, what I did is I actually tried a few different things, but the easiest thing I came up with is I'm just gonna key out the box. And how you're gonna do this is, so how you're gonna pull this off is you're gonna open up the box in After Effects. So once we're open in After Effects, 
we want to just remove the background and how you're going to do this is you go to the effects tab on the right hand side here and you want to type in key light this is the same program you use for green screen work so it just helps you to remove the background so i type in key light and you're going to drag it onto the clip this opens up this little box here on the left hand side with the key light writing and how you're going to remove the background is you go to this little picker here and you click on the background this looks pretty good already if you want to check the result you go onto screen math this gives you a better overview and there you see that there's still some gray areas on the background and we want it to be completely black and the object we want to keep should be completely white if there's still gray areas there's a few transparency issues so you want to have it completely white the object so how we're going to pull this off was we're going to go to screen mat here on the left hand side and we want to increase the clip black see how the background changes to black i think this looks pretty cool and there's no gray spots on the background anymore but there's still some gray areas on the box here which means that they would be transparent so we just want to go to clip white and we want to roll that back see how the gray spots disappear and you can also fine tune it in some other areas you're gonna can shrink it a little bit because the edges seem a little bit uh, soft here but you can play around with it and just finesse it a little bit further so let's check it in the result i think that looks pretty good for now and now we want to jump back into premiere once i'm happy with the result and what this gives us is you see that the box is just on a black background and what we want to do is we want to drag the clean plate that we shot earlier just in the background of the clip see how the box is now on a even background and it's just gonna open nicely and yeah there's still some stuff here so you want to maybe finesse the uh, key a little bit but that's good for us for now so the next step is going to be the serial what i'm doing is first of all you got to key out that little reflector here so i'm doing the same stuff as before i'm going to make it a little smaller and i'm just going to key out the reflector here and invert it again so this gets rid of the reflector and because the reflector is moving you have to animate this mask so um, what do you want to do is you want to click on the clock here on mask path and you want to click back on mask and then you can adjust these frames and then you click on one frame further and then you can adjust it again here just to give a clean mask here and once you max out that reflector you're gonna go back in after effects and do the same stuff you did with the box we're gonna do the same stuff with the serial so back in after effects and we want to do the same stuff as with the box so we want to drag the key light function onto the clip and we're going to go to the little picker here again and we want to click on the background this removes the background already Just open it up a little bit and now we want to double check again go to screen mat and we want to go back to screen mat and we want to increase the black a little bit again to make sure there's no gray spots and then we want to reduce the clip white a bit and let's check the result when you go to intermediate result there's still some if you see here there's still some blue edges here but for our animation it's going to be fine because 
the blue the background is blue anyways we're not changing out the background so it doesn't matter too much but if you if that bothers you you can go to clip rollback or you can go to shrink and grow and you can pull that back a little bit and see how it gets rid of the edges a little bit here but don't be too hard on this because you don't want the series to be too small um, but yeah you can play around with it a bit and once you're happy with the result you can jump back into premiere so there we go we have the serial keyed out and we want to drag it behind the box here okay this is starting to look pretty good but see the issue here once the box opens Actually, we're gonna adjust the height here a bit. You can match it up now because it's just a transparent background. So, um, see that? Like, the issue is actually shorten this a bit. Yeah, you can just drag it around a bit and see where it matches. See how when it box opens, the serial need to be behind this line, but they also need to be in here. So what we want to do is, how we're going to fix this is we're going to click on that serial layer and we're going to hold Alt and we want to duplicate it. We just drag it up. So now you see the serials are in the front, but they're over this edge here. We don't want that. So what we want is we want to click on the mask on top of the serials and we want to go to opacity and we want to click on the little pen tool and we want to just create a mask around here so this only displays if you want to see that so this only displays the series for the mask applied so we want to just make it really accurate here oops And you obviously want to key that also, like animate it. So you want to click on pass math and you want to click on the clock here, then back on the mask. And then you would just want to adjust the mask here and just go frame by frame. And adjust the mask here. Now this looks pretty cool. And the only issue now is the series in the beginning are out of the box already. So we're doing the same stuff as with the mask above. We just want to click on the layer behind the box with the serial. And we just want to go to the opacity and we're going to hit the rectangle and drag it over the box. So this only displays, if you want to see that, this only displays the serial which are inside the box. And you also have to obviously animate that. So once the box opens, we want to have the serial, you click on the little clock here again. And once the box opens, we want to have the serials obviously flying out of the box. So we want to expand that and then we can actually expand it all the way okay so we have another issue here the mask here is already out so what we want to do is just we just want to remove it and then just there we go so we actually got four layers now we got the layer in front which is just this little portion here then we got the box 
Then we got the layers behind the box with the cereal. And then we got the clean background. These layers together all make this shot look great. I hope that wasn't too complicated. I mean, you have to play around with the settings a little bit of the key. There's still some issues here with the key here in this, in this image. So you gotta play around with it a little bit, but I think you know how to do it and let's move on. So for the pouring sequence, we have a few things going on here. Um, first of all, we have the rotation. Um, uh, what we need for this is, I took a video of the plain background without the bowl on it. So this is this file here, just the background here. And then obviously we got the shot with the bowl on it. And it's just a still shot when the cereals are all in the, in the bowl. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna go to the effects tab here and I'm gonna hit transform and drag it onto the file. And then I'm scrolling down and find the transform tab here on the left hand side. And I want it to rotate like this. See, and how I'm doing this is I'm gonna click on the file and I'm gonna scroll down to rotation, not up here, but down in transform tab. And I'm gonna click the clock at the rotation tab and I'm creating a keyframe right at the beginning. And then I'm gonna go to the, almost to the very end and then I'm gonna up the rotation to about, I mean, one rotation and then 100, 60 degrees and then drag it to the very end so once I play that back now see how there's the edges here if I didn't have the clean plate in below it would look weird because um, there's these gaps here it would just be black and see when I'm playing that it still looks weird you don't have a motion blur and how you can get motion blur in Premiere is you're gonna scroll down to the transform tab again and then you want to uncheck the use composition shutter angle and you want to crank up the shutter angle to 200, 360 degrees see and how it changes we got some awesome motion blur going on yeah I think the rotation for this length gotta make it rotate more so I'm gonna crank it up a little bit so that you don't see the background anymore that's way better so now I kind of mask in the pouring shot with the milk coming in and I just lay it over top and then I'm gonna click on the file and I'm going to the mask the opacity tab here and click on the rectangle and I'm just gonna place it I'm gonna zoom out the view a little bit and then I'm just dragging it over and make sure it's half the screen kind of like that and what I'm also doing is I want to make it fade in. So I'm just going to create a keyframe by holding command and create another keyframe. And I'm just dragging that down to the bottom. And now it fades in better. Um, so you can see that, make this bigger again. Oh. Make this bigger again that um, when I'm rotating it, the bowl kind of like goes in and out of the other shot, but I want it to be lined up. So I'm just gonna play around with the position a little bit and the scale. So I think this is a little bit too big, like that. 
and I might have to get some keyframes going. So, uh, so let's go to the beginning point. So this has to come, create some keyframes at the position tab here. So this has to come up here. I'm going to some frames forward. So now it moves a little up again. So I'm just dragging it back down here and just checking that until at the end. And you wanna fine tune that. I think that looks great for now. So what's happening in the next shot is this shot is going to the right and this shot is just gonna fade in here. So I'm keeping that mask. So what I'm doing is I'm extending that clip here, but what I'm doing is I'm gonna cut here and then I'm gonna create another keyframe at the position I'm just gonna drag it over right here. This goes over so the mask has to extend out. So I'm creating another keyframe here with the mask path. So see here the mask has to go over here. So once I'm dragging it over, it just moves. So this shot has to be over. So you're just gonna go to the shot below and you just wanna keep the position tab and you just wanna move over. And what I'm liking for this shot is I'm gonna just make it a little bit more interesting. I'm just gonna make it zoom in. So I'm going to scale, hit the clock here and just a little bit and just drag it to the end so just a little zoom effect to make it more interesting and then at the end I'm applying a zoom effect I'm actually going to the transformation effect here and drag it onto this clip here with the bowl and at the very end I'm just gonna go to the scale clock here click the scale clock move over and just gonna in. And the same thing with the other shot. I want to create some motion blur and I'm just going to untick the use composition shutter angle here and just going to drag up the shutter angle to 360. And also what I want to do is I want to extend the mask again. So once it zooms in, I want the mask to cover the whole thing again. So uh, I click on the mask and then just drag it over the whole screen. So it just, that it takes up the whole screen. So kind of like this, but also this has to move over. So once the mask zooms in, you gotta create a position keyframe and drag it over like this. So that wasn't too hard. I mean, it's a little tricky. You can experiment. You can maybe do some other things with it, but that's how I did it. Uh, I think it looks really creative with the split screen. I really like that. And yeah, for the ending shot, I just basically did something really simple. I just zoomed in and nothing too serious that I have to explain here. And if you want to watch the production video, I'm going to link it up here. Here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to subscribe, I'm having a new commercial coming up. It's an Apple commercial. So if you're interested in watching some more behind the scenes product videos. And yeah, thanks for watching and I see you guys in the next one.